hello students so we completed lecture 1 now this is lecture 2 so in lecture 1 we studied about projection of solid surfaces the major difference between prisms and pyramids and we solved one problem also right now we are going to solve another problem before going to start another problem just i want to show you one thing i think it's visible right see what i'm saying i'm saying square prism having top face bottom face bounded by four rectangular faces these are the four rectangular faces yesterday i said one point about prisms and pyramids prisms having top face and bottom face bounded by four rectangular faces right pyramid they will have only one face and the apex point like a cone shape right just i want to show you the prisms will look like this right having top face bottom face bounded by four rectangular faces so whatever may be the polygon here see if you see the polygon here it appears like a square right so it is a square prism whatever may be the polygon here like square rectangle hexagon heptagon whatever may be the polygon here that polygon will be bounded by rectangular faces only this is the important thing right so prism is a polyhedron bounded by rectangular faces just i want to show you this right now coming to question number 2 what is the question here a hexagonal prism of side 20 mm and height 50 mm is resting with its corners on vp such that its axis is inclined at 30 degrees to vp and 30 degrees to hp draw its projections so in lecture 1 i already informed that in question they will mention four important points so what are that four important points in question definitely they will mention the name of the polygon in question definitely they will mention the condition they will mention where we have to start the problem on hp or on vp and what are the inclinations so i said already about all this so in question what is the name of the polygon here the name of the polygon in this question is here hexagon so we have to construct the hexagon next is condition what is the condition here side 20 height 50 resting with its corners corners is the condition right and then next where we have to start the problem hp or on vp corners on vp so you have to start the problem on vp right now what are the inclinations here 30 degrees to vp 30 degrees to hp these are the inclinations right so read the question carefully in question definitely they will mention this four conditions what is the name of the polygon what are the conditions where we have to start the polygon and what are the inclinations right now see so just i want to uh, draw rough diagram so we know we have to construct the hexagon condition is corner on vp so we know this reference line x y vertical plane horizontal plane right so corner on vp corner on vp we will draw like this hexagon corner on vp this is the condition right we will name it as here a dash of 1 dash b dash of 2 dash c dash of 3 dash d dash of 4 dash e dash of 5 dash f dash of 6 dash right after drawing this hexagon what we have to do join all the corners of the hexagon right in order to mark the midpoint of that right now from a corner extend this line till the reference line from b and f extend this line till the reference line from c and d extend the line till reference line from d extend the line till reference line right this is the midpoint line midpoint line axis line dash dot now height is how much here 50 mm from every point take 50 mm height take 50 mm height extend this one draw the prism and midpoint is your axis line right same i am drawing here see corner on vp i am constructing the hexagon first 
I'm constructing the hexagon first. Then next, I'm joining all these corners. I'm marking the midpoint here, and I'm extending till the reference line. I'm extending. You see, I'm naming it as hexagon name. A dash, A dash of one dash, B dash of two dash, C dash of three dash, D dash of four dash, A dash of five dash, F dash of six dash. Right now, from A dash, I'm drawing a reference uh, projectional line till reference line. From F dash, drawing a projectional line till reference line. From A dash, C dash till reference line. From D dash till reference line. Right now. From this reference line, this is the point. From this reference line, height is 50 mm. Take the height 50 mm. From all the corners, take height 50 mm. Construct the prism here. Right. So you know here point A is here. So write down area. From F B, we are drawing a line. Name it as F of B. Right. Then next, from E and C, you are drawing a line. From D, you are drawing a line here. Right. Same one, six, two, five, three, four. Right. So this is the following first step. So you know the name of the first step is here. What we have to write here. Initial position. You have to mention here initial position. Right. Now. What is the second step? Second step depends on angle. So what they mention such that its axis is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. So what I said, if you are taking the first point here, definitely the second point will be here, right? Then next you have to draw the third point here, third step here, right? So how to draw this third step here? What they mentioned, axis is 30 degrees to VP. So this is your axis line. Right. So first, draw the axis line of any length with an angle of here 30 degrees. Draw the axis line of any length 30 degrees. Then next, what we are doing? What we are seeing here one prism. Right. Exactly, you have to draw this prism here. Measure this length. Right. Measure this length from the axis line. Draw half here. Draw off here. Just keep your scale here, and by trial and error method, see how much length will be here. Half here. Suppose it is forty. Right. Draw twenty here. Draw twenty here. This is zero. Twenty has to touch to the reference line. If it's not touching by trial and error method, just move the scale, move the pencil like this, move the scale like this. Right and see. Right. Then next, you know, keep your protractor here. Mark ninety degrees. Keep your protractor here. Mark ninety degrees. Join this one. Right. So from first line to second line, what is the distance here? Draw here. From first line to second line, draw here. Right. After constructing this prism, this is your third step. You have to write the numbers here. You have to write the alphabets here. Right. After constructing this same process from every corner, this is one corner, this is one corner. Right from corner, draw a straight line. From this corner, draw another straight line. From this corner, draw another straight line. Right. Suppose if you are giving numbers here, one, two, three, four. Right. From one to one, from two to two, from three to three, you will get one hexagon here. If you are writing alphabets A, B, C, D, if you join all this, you will get another hexagon here. Right. How you will get? We will see. Right. What I said. Draw the axis line of any length. First, you are drawing this axis line. Right. Then next, what you are doing? You are measuring this one, this prism, by trial and error method. You are drawing here. Again, you are keeping your protractor here, marking 90 degrees. Keep your protractor here, mark 90 degrees. Join this one. Right. Measure the distance from first line to second line. Draw here. Again, draw this line here. Right. So just you are drawing the this prism here with an angle of 30 degrees. I want to tell you one thing that in question they mention the angle here. Sorry, here 30 degrees. Axis angle is 30 degrees. Right. So if you observe carefully, this is to a right angle triangle. Definitely, the angle will be here, 90 degrees. 
right so 90 30 120 remaining here 60 degrees with the help of 60 degrees also you can draw this one right so after constructing this fourth point four five three six two one and here d point d point a and c f and b a and one you are drawing this one after that you are projecting from first point to first point from second point to second point from third point to third from fourth point to four right if you join all this from one to one to two to you will get one hexagon here right same you are writing the alphabets from a to a from b to b from c to c if you join all this you will get another hexagon here right join this one it looks like a prism right so this is your middle position right now how to draw third position what i am saying in planes also what we did whenever you want to draw third position assuming that the second position is in a box right here we are constructing two hexagons assume that this two hexagons is in a box this is the starting corner extend this one name it as some p extend this one q right and these are the ending corner of the hexagon extend this one r yes p q r s is a box consisting of two hexagons right p q r s is a box consisting of two hexagons now we are constructing a box here how to draw this one angle is how much 30 degrees to hp right same take this q r right take this q r draw here with an angle of 30 degrees right then next keep your protector here mark 90 degrees keep your protector here mark 90 degrees and join this one first construct the box you know how to construct this one we are assuming this two hexagons is in a box we are following the box method with an angle of 30 degrees right now you know this in between q and r how many lines are there this Q to this line, measure the line, draw a line here. Now first line to second line, draw the line here. Second line to third line, draw the line here. Again from third line to this line, take this distance with the help of compass or scale. Again draw a line here. Again from first line to second line, again from first line to second line. Right, in between Q and R, in between Q and R, how many lines are there, projectional lines? Take these distances and draw here. Then next in between P and Q. In between P and Q only one horizontal line was there. From P to 1. Take this distance from P to 1. Mark here. Draw a line. Right. Now this is point is in P and Q. First point is 1 2 dash. 2 2 dash. 3 2 dash. 4 2 dash. 5 2 dash. 6 2 dash. 1 2 dash. This is one hexagon. And you will get another hexagon here. Two hexagons. Right? Same process, same method after drawing this, what we have to do from every corner of the prism, from 4, from 5, from 6, from 1, from A, from B, from C, from D, we have to draw all the projectional lines from every corner. After that, you are writing first point here from 1 to 1, 1, 2. Then next from 2 to 2, from 3 to 3, from 4 to 4, from 5 to 5, from 6 to 6. If you join all this from 1 to 1 to 2 to, see this is your first point, second point, third point, fourth point, fifth point, sixth point. You will get one hexagon here. These are AB series from A to A, A to B to C to D to E to F to. You will get another hexagon here. Just you are projecting this one, you know, from 1 to 1, from 2 to 2, from 3 to 3, from 4 to 4, from 5 to 5, from 6 to 6. Then next from A to A, from B to B, from C to C, from D to D. Right? After completion, join this from 1 to A, 2 to B, 
3 to C, 4 to D, 5 to E and 6 to F. You will get the hexagonal prism. This will be your final position. Right? After construction, above the reference line, you have to draw here front view and below the reference line, you have to write down here top view. Right? Hope you understand this problem and you know this concept x y vertical plane horizontal plane we are starting the problem in vp 1 2 3 4 5 6 you are starting the problem in vp ending will be in hp right you have to follow this curve I will repeat one second. First draw the hexagon. Project this one. One, two. Then next third one is axis. Measure this axis length. Draw here with an angle of 30 degrees. Take this length. Draw here. Construct the prism. Same. Same numbering. Same alphabet. Same dimensions. Draw here with an angle of 30 degrees. Project this one from 1 to 1. From 2 to 2. From 3 to 3. You will get one hexagon here. One hexagon here. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4 and how to draw this final step? Final step we are depending on this middle position. Right? Assuming that this position is in a box, P, Q, R, S is a box consisting of two hexagons. Draw this box an angle of 30 degrees, you will get two hexagons. Project this one, you will get the hexagonal prism.